Hello everybody, I've got my one CNC installed. Finally got warm enough here in Wisconsin. It is getting close to 60 degrees in my garage with my propane heater on and fan. So it is finally warm enough to turn this system on. And let's see. Oh, first time turning on. I've had this machine for about a month now, but it's been so cold up here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I haven't been able to run it because I had to get the garage insulated, get the heater set up. Did not want any of these electronics to fry themselves with the cold weather. While it's low, you see I got the e-stop popped up, the power button on. Now it says, like the home machine. I don't have my router yet. That is coming shortly. We don't need it to own the machine. And I did get the accessories. The joystick and the Z Pro Touch. X, Y, and Z actually. I do see how they say it's quite slow, but the joystick will make it better later on. You're wondering why my machine's a little dusty. One, I want a dust collection on. Two, I was installing insulation in the ceiling. So, it homed. As it says, over because I haven't done the Z yet. But that's okay. I still got to get my table finished. But it's a good storage unit underneath right now for wood. I got a ton of scraps to make stuff. Got to get to work. And if y'all like the dust deputy, you gotta get my five gallon bucket hooked back up, but got my dust collection started with the shop vac. And here is the old machine that the one Fanny replaced. That is the Bob E3 original CNC machine. Great little machine for what it did. Definitely made more than enough money to pay for itself over and over. It's just not accurate enough. So, maybe selling it, maybe keeping it. I haven't decided. But if I do sell it, it does have a Z Touch plate installed. It does have a waste board that I had cleaned up and installed also. I also put some uh, side rail to try to keep more of the dust off the, the rails and the belts. That's another thing with the Onefinity no belts, no rails. It's nothing but heavy duty strong machinery. This thing is a beast. And with 32 inch by 32 inch cutting area, I'll be able to do 10 times the amount of stuff and a lot faster. Stay tuned for the next video when I do my first cut. 